Squeeze Me by Carl Hyacin is a satirical crime novel set in the wealthy enclave of Palm Beach, Florida, against the backdrop of the Trump era. The story begins when the high society dowagers of the Lippitt estate are terrorized by an unknown predator during their winter white gala. Kiki Pew Fitzsimmons, a prominent member of the Pussies, a group of women fanatically devoted to the then President of the United States, referred to as the Mastodon, mysteriously disappears. Her disappearance sets off a chain of events involving a diverse cast of characters. The lead character, Angie Armstrong, is an animal wrangler by trade, tasked with capturing and removing invasive wildlife. Her skills are put to use when Kiki Pew's body is found on a secluded beach, apparently a victim of a giant Burmese python. Angie captures the snake believed to be responsible, only to find herself entangled in the ongoing investigation. The novel weaves its humor and intrigue as Angie delves deeper into the seemingly simple case of human-predator conflict. Her search for clarity and justice brings her in contact with a cavalcade of bizarre and quintessentially Floridian characters. A disbarred lawyer turned professional grave robber, an eccentric wildlife enthusiast who has more empathy for pythons than people, a mafia-esque wildlife trapper, and other odd personalities that flavor the narrative with their unique brands of crazy. Central to the plot is the suggestively named First Lady of the United States, whom Hiasen refers to as the First Lady of Palm Beach, or simply Mistress Bunny, whose precious prize-winning pet Kiki Pew had been mysteriously dog-sitting, disappears amid the chaos. The Secret Service is under pressure to solve the mystery surrounding the pet, as insinuations arise that a wild animal may have snatched it. An embarrassing security breach, given the POTUS's recurring nearby visits to his opulent estate. In the midst of this mayhem, the president arrives in Palm Beach for a weekend at his private club, bringing along the typical circus of media and security, which only adds to the absurdity and complexity of the unfolding events. Angie's straightforward mission becomes a snarl of political intrigue, environmental concerns, and social satire as she navigates the power dynamics of the uber-wealthy, whose deepest fears and prejudices are brought into the limelight by the invasive snake problem. Moreover, the story dives into the darker undertones of current politics, touching upon themes of fake news and media manipulation. A subplot involving one of the president's most ardent supporters, a one-armed bartender named Diego, further complicates matters. Diego takes it upon himself to exact revenge against those he believes are working against the president, leading to a series of humorous but dangerous confrontations. Angie gradually uncovers a twisted conspiracy that leads straight to some of the most powerful individuals in the nation. A combination of inquiries leads to the unsettling revelation that Kiki Pew's death may have been a setup, an attempt by an unsavory mix of political opportunists and financially driven individuals to exploit the situation for their own gain. Through a narrative rich with extended metaphors, the novel consistently pokes fun at the political climate and the extravagantly wealthy residents of Palm Beach. It juxtaposes Angie's common-sense approach and decency with the irrational and excessive behavior of her social betters. Carl Hyacin uniquely combines environmental activism and criticism of political corruption into a humorous, fast-paced tale of modern American absurdity. Angie is characterized by her determination and ethical framework, which starkly contrasts with the cacophony of greed, hedonism, and superficiality that defines much of the Palm Beach scene. Her quest for the truth is hindered by a number of comedic roadblocks, including misdirection by those wanting to protect their own interests and the incompetence of various individuals who should be helping her in her endeavor. As the hunt for Kiki Pew's killer ensues, Angie discovers that the python is being falsely accused. Instead, she finds that the real perpetrator is one of the Lippitt estate's own, who used the snake as a convenient scapegoat. The narrative swerves through a labyrinth of hidden motives and corrupt alliances until Angie is able to pin down the actual killers, revealing a plot that is both diabolical and preposterous. Hyacin uses his sharp wit to explore the ironies of a deeply divided America, where the obsessions and loyalties of the ultra-rich can often rise to the level of absurdity, leading to bizarre and unexpected consequences.
Angie's perseverance and intelligence carry her through a jungle of farcical situations, but also serve to expose the vulnerabilities and inane concerns driving her upper-crust adversaries. In the end, Squeeze Me uncovers some of the darker undercurrents of society, greed, power struggles, and class conflicts, all camouflaged under the beautiful Florida sun and within the mansions of the tremendously wealthy. The novel culminates with a mix of poetic justice and comic relief, tying up loose ends in a way that delivers satisfaction to the reader and serves as a pointed social commentary on the state of contemporary America. Carl Hyassen's Squeeze Me offers not only a thrilling and entertaining read, but also a satirical lens through which the excesses of the rich and powerful are scrutinized. The novel exemplifies Hyasin's ability to fold social criticism into a gripping narrative, leaving readers amused, outraged, and perhaps a bit more informed about the high-stakes shenanigans playing out in the Sunshine State. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.